if you have considered writing the United States medical license exam, the USMLE, within the shortest possible time, then this video is for you. Now, this exam has evolved from the 90s up to now, and you could see that more complex information and concepts are being added. In the 90s, there were like two line questions, but now you have to read almost like a passage in order to get your answer, and the time allocated for the questions are same. It also, another evidence is if you take the 2019 book that I use for my prep versus the current book, which is the 2023, you realize that so much information has been added to the book. So I would say the earlier you write the exam, the better for you. Also, people spend several years and several hours of study time to prep for the exam. Some people have spent up to 10 years some spend as little as few months to prepare for the exam. So you have to know yourself before you decide on how and when you want to write the exam. Now, in this video, I want to talk about four main things that you should have at the back of your mind when you are planning to take this exam within, say, four to six months. The first thing I would like to talk about is having the right study materials and the right environment. Now, basically, we use the first aid. We also use the UWorld, which is a Q bank, and also we use the Pathoma book for pathology. Now, in order to decode the first aid, which is very complex and very difficult to read, we also use the boards and beyond videos, which are very helpful. Now, talk about environment. We have the physical environment where you should use an environment that is free of distraction so that you can focus on the materials. Now, we also encourage you to have a virtual environment where you join study groups so that you are in an environment with medical students who are also writing or studying for the exam. That makes you like feel like you are in school even though you may not be in school. Also, you are able to share ideas with people and the fact that you know that people are also writing as you, that keeps you going each day. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is you having a solid plan and also being disciplined. Now, solid plan means that you have to, uh, before starting your prep, like calculate your materials and allocate a specific time to them and leave some all time for break as well. Now, say that you all is over 4,000 questions now. You want to divide them and know which time frame you want to finish and also how many questions you want to do per day in order to meet that timeline. Now, the topics are also very important. You also have to um, include those topics in your uh, schedule so that you can finish them within a certain time you should have weekly goals you should have monthly goals and you should also have daily goals when you are prepping for the exam discipline is very important in my um, way of looking at discipline is being consistent working hard and also focus on the prize the reason why you are writing this exam should always be in your mind so that you can keep going without deviating from the original plan the next thing that I'd like to talk about is self-assessments. Very important to do self-assessments. These are readiness tests that you can use to gauge your knowledge. People say trust your self-assessment scores. The better you do on the self-assessments, the higher your chances of scoring well on the exam. So Please do self-assessments if it's weekly, if it's bi-weekly, or if it's monthly, it all depends on your goals. Now, these self-assessments are found on the NBME website, and we just call them the NBME uh, self-assessments. We also have the UWorld self-assessments that come with the QBank. You can also do those. And also, AMBOS comes with some self-assessments one and two. Self-assessment uh, self one is usually free, the two is paid, so you should um, note that. The last thing that I will talk about that you should 
bear in mind when deciding to take your exam within the shortest possible time is use of time tested techniques now these techniques have helped several people and if you implement them it might help you as well now the first one i'd like to talk about is for you to use space repetition tools example the anki this anki um, is a flashcard tool that you can use to do space repetition so that you can what well, bring most of the information from long-term memory into the short-term memory to help you pass your exam easily also involve mnemonics in your studies now including mnemonics helps you to be able to memorize a lot of information within the shortest possible time and that helps you to pick your answers quickly in exams now before you also begin any new topic if you have someone who has written or who has tested already or who has done that topic already then you want to ask them hey um, how did you go about this topic what are the most important things i should focus on in this topic and that helps you to shorten your time that you are going to spend on that particular topic or subject so um, these are the things i want to talk about uh, you want to share this video with someone who might need it um, i want to tell you that it is possible whatever time that you allocate the most important thing is the quality of your studies it doesn't matter how long you are studying it's about how much information you put in your head so it's doable define your time and go and take this test now if there's anything that i've not talked about in this video kindly um, put it in the comments for me uh, subscribe and share this video also share your techniques that you are using that is working with you with us in the comment um, i love you all uh, keep pushing it's doable and i'll see you again in the next video bye